Hi, my name is Ben, and I'm making a roguelite about a car that can only attack by drifting. And I think it's sick. Alright, so it's been ages since I last uploaded a video, and honestly, this is just because that last devlog and the work I've been doing has just taken a lot out of me, and I've been burnt out. So it's been a while, but I'm back in business. I finished the demo, and you can play it. It's about time. From the state that it was in last time being pretty much finished, I thought I'd maybe 10% of the work to do until the demo was ready to send out. I was wrong. It needed work and it needed fixing. I needed to work on its overall presentation, gameplay, and a slight issue that the game had next to no sound at all. I mean, look at this. Do you notice the really bright grass and that the colors just don't go together that well? I mean, I didn't. Honestly, I thought this was fine as I didn't know anything about art. So I went and talked to one of the artists at the studio. Now, this is much better. Honestly, I'm shocked at how much nicer this is looking just from this change alone, especially considering all I did was change the colors. Just changing these colors was a massive difference, but I also added some fog and I think that really tied it all together. I also created this loading screen to hide some of the freezing while the game loads, which is just a screenshot of the level with some extra doodles over the top. It took no time at all, but it did raise the quality of the level and it makes it seem so much more professional. Now, let's take a look at the gameplay. Okay, we seem to have a car here, but that's okay. It doesn't seem to have many upgrades as the car looks completely normal. Right, okay, so there might be a flaw with the game. I have no idea how many upgrades I have, and if the upgrade doesn't make a physical difference to the vehicle, I won't know that I have it at all. I got to work on an inventory, which turned out to be pretty simple, as I'd actually made an inventory for another project before. That was in Unreal Engine, but the concept still stands. Although this one will be way easier, as it's a more simple version. I need to make two things. A slot that I can use to hold the items, and a manager that will sort the items into the slots. The manager has a big list of all of the slots and if we go through each of them, see if it's full, empty or has the same item that it's currently sorting. If it finds the same item, it'll add one to the slot. If it doesn't, it'll fill an empty slot. Being able to track your items really makes it feel like a more complete product. This is already looking great, but I do have an idea for something I want to add. As a summary, just to get you all up to speed, what you do in the game is you beat 10 levels, collecting upgrades along the way, and at the end, you fight the main boss and you destroy an AI core. This opens up a portal and it sends you back to the beginning with all of your items so you can get extremely overpowered. I only have one level for the demo because, you know, it's a demo, but I could implement the loop. At the end of the level, save the upgrades that the player has, restart the level, and then load the upgrades that you had before. I would tell you that this was easy, but in fact, this one feature took me around a week, as I couldn't help myself and just had to break it every step of the way. But this is already great, as I can now keep replaying the game to a point where I just obliterate everything on the screen. To link with this, I've adapted the dialogue scripts to change what it says depending on what loop the player is in. So if you beat the level once, the harvester will say something completely different. And if you beat it again, it'll be different again. I want the characters to have visible glitches and flaws the more that the player loop and start to reveal the whole time travel plot for the game. Sadly though, it did mean I had to remove Walter White. I'm sorry, Walter. This is to give it that Hades style storytelling that I really wanted. The idea that the enemies remember what you have done and react differently from run to run. It makes the world feel so much more connected. From here, I did sound to every item and action in the game. I'm not proud of the audio work I've done, but I figured it's good enough for now until I get some funding to hire some help. But overall, I was excited. The demo is done. So I thought. I created a build and got ready to test, and it didn't work. The game would crash whenever it loads the main level. I'd spend the next week trying to fix it, but eventually I did. It turned out that my saving and loading script was still broken. Long story short, I had to do a lot of scripting to make sure I wasn't trying to access something which didn't exist. So now you can play this. While the website is in the works, it does cost money, money that I don't have at the moment. So for now, I'll be using itch.io, but it does mean that you'll be able to play and download the game. Show me what you can do. Collect so many upgrades that the game breaks. In fact, I encourage you to break the game. Try to become invincible and destroy five waves as fast as you can. I really do hope you like it. Let me know what you think. It's such an exciting state to be in right now. And please also let me know what you think of the devlog. We're getting close to a thousand subscribers and I think that's amazing. Honestly, it's great to see everyone checking out just this little game I've been working on. I can't wait to show you what's happening next. I'll see you then.